welcome YouTubers to another episode in my Grammar Hero series. In this video, I'm going to discuss scientific notation, which has a very high likelihood of appearing on both the arithmetic reasoning as well as the mathematics knowledge subtest of the Armed Services Vocational Aptitude Battery, that is the ASVAB. Uh, as far as scientific notation goes, I want to start this lesson by talking about what scientific notation looks like and why it's used. Um, so uh, let's answer that second question. Um, scientific notation is used by the scientific community to uh, express very large and very small numbers in ways that are easy to understand. Okay, And uh, that said, this is what it looks like. You have a number to the left which is called the coefficient it's always one digit followed by a decimal and then the rest of the number times base 10 raised to an exponent which can either be positive or negative no matter what scientific journal you look in um, if they're trying to standardize the expression of a very large or small number it's always going to appear in this form. Okay. So uh, with that in mind, let's take a look, of, look at a few examples. Let's say I asked you if this number was expressed in scientific notation. Okay. Right here you would say, well, um, it has two digits in front of the decimal, which is not scientific notation. Uh, since this part's not expressed in scientific notation, the rest of it isn't. But that said, um, it does have base 10, which is fine, and the exponent is negative, which is fine. Okay, so this one is not expressed in scientific notation. Uh, let's try this one. 5.22 times 10 to the third. Okay, um, one digit in front of the decimal, which is fine. Uh, base 10 raised to a positive exponent. So this one is in fact in expressed in scientific notation. Uh, let's look at one more. Uh, 2.67 times 10. Let me redo that one. 2.67 2 times 11 to the 10. Okay, so we have one digit in front of the decimal, which is fine we have base 11 here okay in scientific notation the base is always 10 so this is not acceptable and therefore this whole thing is not expressed in scientific notation okay so with that in mind let's go ahead and talk about um, expressing large and small numbers in scientific notation and how that's done as well as taking something that's written in scientific notation and putting it in expanded form which just means that you actually write out the whole number that the scientific notation represents. So let's say uh, we were dealing with 213 million and we wanted to express that in scientific notation. We always know it's going to be multiplied by some base. So at this point we need to figure out what the decimal, what the coefficient is going to be what the exponent's going to be, and whether the exponent's going to be positive or negative. So, uh, in light of the fact we always know the coefficient's going to be one digit in front of the decimal place, we can just put that decimal right there so we know it's going to be 2.13. Okay? Now we have to decide what the exponent is and whether we're moving it, whether it's positive or negative. So the way I like to think about it is this. Um, how many times do you have to move this decimal place, which I just added here, to get this original number? So let's go ahead and do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So uh, to take 2.13 and make it into 213 million, I had to move the decimal place eight times to the right. So I put eight as my exponent. And since I moved my decimal place to the right, I know this is going to be positive. 
So if you move your decimal place to the right, your exponent's going to be positive. If you move your decimal place to the left, your exponent's going to be negative. Okay? So let's take a look at this one. We have 0 0.00872, and we're asked to write it or express it in scientific notation. Um, again, we always know it's going to be times base 10. So again, like this one, like in this one, we need to figure out what our decimal is going to be and what our exponent is and whether it's positive or negative. Again, we know it's going to be this 8.72. because again I always stress that there's only one digit in front of the decimal so as we did up here the goal is to figure out how many times we have to move this decimal to make this number this number so let's go ahead and do that one two three we add two zeros in the blank spaces so I had to move the exponent three times to make this number this number and since I moved it to the left it's going to be negative okay um, let's go ahead and talk about expressing scientific notation in expanded form um, so we have 5.6 times 10 to the fourth now this kind of just provides instructions as to what you do you have 5.6, you're going to take the decimal and move it to the right four times. One, two, three, four. Add zeros in the blank spaces so we can see this is 56,000. Again, when you're converting or expressing scientific notation in expanded form, this is basically like a little road map telling you what to do. You take 5.6 you move the decimal place to the right four times. So let's take a look at this one. Again, uh, it's like a road map. You're going to take 9.71. You're going to move the decimal place to the left five times. One, two, three, four, five. Put zeros in, in the blank spaces. So you get 0 0.00009711. Okay? So in a nutshell, that's all there is to scientific notation. Uh, that said, let's take a look at a few uh, practice problems I pulled from some uh, sample tests for the ASVAB and see what we can do. So the, this problem says write this very small number using scientific notation. Um, and again, you may have caught on to the fact that very big numbers have positive exponents, very small numbers have negative exponents, very big numbers, positive exponents, very small numbers, negative exponents. Okay? So we know that this is a very small number, so we know our exponent is going to be negative. We always know it's going to be written base 10, negative. So now we just got to look at our answer choices and see which one's correct. This one doesn't have base 10, so it's not correct. This one doesn't have base 10, so it's not correct. Again, very small number, so we know our base is going to be, our exponent is going to be negative. So without doing any work, we're able to solve this problem. And uh, believe me when I say this, um, especially early on in the ASVAB, there are going to be problems that you can solve without doing any work, um, which will free up uh, time for you to work on harder problems later in the test. So don't be shocked if you're able to solve something just using your knowledge of math uh, and without doing any work. So let's take a look at another one. Again, uh, convert this number to scientific notation. It's a very big number, so we know it's going to be multiplied by base 10 positive. Uh, no base 10 in this one. No base 10 in this one base 10 is negative so without doing any work again we're able to identify the correct uh, form of scientific notation so um, that's all I have for you in this video I know it's one of my shorter videos but hopefully you found it helpful uh, please feel free to like 
subscribe and leave some uh, comments and uh, feedback in the comment section below. But on that note, I'm going to go ahead and cut you guys loose. Konnichiwa.